Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday Post Leadership Conference edition. We hope you enjoyed all of the coverage from last week's leadership conference. My staff and I are back in the office and you can see coverage from the leadership conference in Monday's issue. This was our largest leadership conference to date. It also included the most widely attended retail tour that we've had. And for those of you who missed it, you really missed something exciting. Keith Koenig and his team at City Furniture were gracious enough to host us at the company's newest store in Ocoee within the Orlando city limits. And it is a marvel, a perfect example of creating retail experience. But it's also an excellent example of uh, Keith's philosophy uh, about how to deal with Amazon today. As he said to those of us who were there during his remarks, you can fight or you can flee, and he's decided to dig in and fight. Just one example, they have added eight sofas at $2.99, have a specific section just for these, um, let's call them Amazon priced sofas, so that customers who are looking for internet pricing can find that in the store. Uh, another big area of growth for city furniture is in the accessories area. Uh, while a lot of furniture stores today use accessories to accent their presentation, they often don't sell them, missing a very big opportunity. Uh, Keith and his team have done an exceptional job of uh, really accessorizing the store, offering outposts throughout the store of accessories so people who see something can be enticed. It increases the chances of impulse shopping. And then let's talk about the KC Cafe and Wine Bar. Most people have focused on the wine. Uh, keep in mind there is a two drink maximum, but also you can get coffee and snacks. And the value of this I think sometimes is underrated. Uh, it's not just about giving people food, but it's giving them the opportunity of breathing space. One of the things that they've done with this new store is locate the cafe and wine bar within easy sight line of the front door. So as soon as you walk in, customers know there's a respite, there's an oasis, a place you can stop and enjoy a little something to eat or drink. If you've been shopping for a while and you feel like you need a break, you want to consider some of your purchases. Uh, it's a great opportunity to kind of catch your breath, recharge your battery, and then continue your shopping experience. Keith actually tells a, a really good story about a, a young couple who came in to make a purchase. Uh, we're just about to do the, uh, we'll think about it and come back. They paused for a moment at the wine bar, sat with their sales associate, and just had a relaxing conversation, the opportunity to get to know each other better. Uh, and then in doing so, realized that they needed to fill two other rooms in their home with new furniture, uh, resulting in a very large, very significant purchase. A couple of other highlights from this year's conference. One of the things that um, I think we, we really had great luck with this year was actionable insight. One of our keynote speakers, former Major General Vinnie Bowles, had a very interesting insight. He shared an anecdote about a time that he was posted to a base and his soldiers were kind of calling ahead of him to let people know that uh, he would be arriving. And he raised an interesting point about who made the decision that the organization needed to be protected from him. And he raised the point about who makes decisions in your organization. And he suggests we all ask, three questions of people who work for us. What decisions did you make this week and why? What decisions didn't you make this week and why? And this one was really insightful. What decisions are you waiting for an answer from me? And I had the opportunity to speak with uh, former Major General Bowles afterwards and he, he remarked that you would be surprised how often in the course of a meeting, things that you thought you had resolved, answers that you thought were given to your staff are actually things that they're still waiting for a decision from you. So let's take that insight back to our offices. I've already done that with my staff. Start asking the question, what decisions are you waiting for from me? Till next week, I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good decisions. <laughs>